SEO experts know all about robots.txt, but what about LLMs.txt? What makes LLMs.txt so important? And how do you implement LLMs.txt into your website? In this video, I'm going to explain what is LLMs.txt and how to implement it into your marketing efforts. Hi there, I'm Jason Patel, the co-founder and CEO of OpenForge AI. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. It goes a long way in helping me make more content. So first up, what is LLMs.txt? LLMs.txt is a new standard file that helps website owners control how AI search engines and large language models, LLMs, interact with their content. So think of it as a set of instructions that tells AI systems what they can and cannot do with their website's information. LLMs.txt serves as a crucial communication bridge between your website and AI crawlers, allowing you to set specific permissions and boundaries for content usage. Unlike traditional search engines that simply index your content, AI search engines use advanced algorithms to understand, interpret, and potentially repurpose your content in various ways. This fundamental difference is why LLMs.txt has become necessary. So what are the basics of LLMs.txt? At its core, LLMs.txt is a simple text file that resides in your website's root directory. It contains specific directives that AI crawlers must follow when accessing your content. These directives can range from basic permissions to complex rules about content usage and data processing. The file structure follows a standardized format that includes allow, disallow directives, similar to robots.txt, but with additional parameters specific to AI interactions. So here's a pro tip. Place your LLMs.txt file at the root level of your domain. So for an example, example.com slash LLMs.txt to ensure AI crawlers can easily locate and follow your directives. So key components of LLMs.txt include user agent specifications for different AI systems, content access permissions, training data usage rules, specific section or URL restrictions, and then of course, content reproduction guidelines. Organizations that practically implement LLMs.txt protocols are better positioned to maintain control over their content as AI search capabilities continue to expand and take over SEO. So let's go on to the next question. What's the difference between LLMs.txt and robots.txt? While LLMs.txt might seem similar to existing web protocols, and it is, it addresses unique challenges posed by AI systems and search engines. The key distinction lies in its ability to provide granular control over how AI systems interact with and utilize your content. The fundamental difference between LLMs.txt and robots.txt lies in their scope and purpose. While robots.txt focuses on crawling permissions, LLMs.txt goes several steps further by addressing AI-specific concerns. LLMs.txt provides explicit controls for AI training, content synthesis, and data usage that traditional robots.txt files simply weren't designed to handle. So here's how they differ in a nutshell. Robots.txt controls basic crawling and indexing, and LLMs.txt manages AI training, synthesis, and usage rights. As a pro tip, maintain both robots.txt and LLMs.txt files to ensure a comprehensive control over both traditional and AI-based content access when it comes to AEO, AI search optimization, GEO, SEO, whatever you want to call it. Now, LLMs.txt introduces several features specifically designed for AI interaction control. These capabilities allow for more nuanced management of how AI systems engage with your content. The file can specify permissions for training data usage, content synthesis, information extraction, response regeneration, and context preservation. The control mechanisms in LLMs.txt are more sophisticated than traditional web protocols. They allow for detailed specs about how AI systems can process and utilize your content. Remember, you own that content, but it will get repurposed. Website owners can now define specific parameters for how their content contributes to AI model training and development, ensuring proper attribution and usage rights. This stuff is all gonna get crazy over the next few years as AI takes over SEO. And so obviously, how do you implement LLMs.txt? Implementing LLMs.txt requires careful planning and execution to ensure effective control over AI interactions with your content, as I've said two or three times already. But the good news is that it's super easy to do. So let's go into how to create your file. The process begins with creating a properly formatted LLMs.txt file. This involves understanding the syntax and structure required for effective AI crawler communication. A well-structured LLMs.txt file should include clear directives for different types of AI systems and specific instructions for content usage scenarios. 
as a pro tip, use a text editor that supports UTF-8 encoding to ensure your LLMs.txt file is properly formatted and readable by all AI systems and crawlers, etc. And this is mainly using Markdown. Directives in your LLMs.txt file need to be specific and comprehensive. Consider these essential elements. User agent specifications, allow slash disallow rules, training permissions, content usage limits, and of course, attribution requirements. Before full implementation, it's crucial to test your LLMs.txt file to ensure it's working as intended. This involves verifying that AI crawlers are respecting your directives and that content access is being properly controlled. Regular testing and monitoring of LLMs.txt implementation can prevent unauthorized AI usage of your content and ensure compliance with your specified directives. So where do you add LLMs.txt to your site? For newer SEO folks, the LLMs.txt file cannot be added directly or uploaded through Google Search Console, although Google Search Console is hugely important for AI search and SEO traditionally. Instead, that file should be placed in the root directory of your website, similar to how you would handle files for robots.txt or sitemap.xml. So for example, the file should be accessible at yourwebsite.com slash LLMs.txt. It's that easy. Once the file is placed in the root directory, Google and other search engines like Perplexity, Claude, ChatGPT, whatever, can discover it during their crawling process. You can include a link in your LLMs.txt file in your sitemap.xml and then submit the sitemap through Google Search Console. This helps notify Google about its existence. The best practices for LLMs.txt implementation ensures maximum effectiveness in controlling AI interactions with your content. It's that straightforward. Proper formatting is crucial for LLMs.txt functionality. Each directive should be clear and unambiguous following established syntax rules. So don't mess around with this. Consistent and proper formatting of LLMs.txt directives ensures reliable interpretation by AI crawlers and maintains effective content control. That's the name of the game. So pro tip, regularly validate your LLMs.txt file just for good AI SEO hygiene. A good webmaster will do this regularly. Keeping track of how AI systems interact with your content helps optimize your LLMs.txt configuration. So this involves the following. Tracking crawler access patterns, analyzing content usage, monitoring compliance, identifying unauthorized access, and measuring effectiveness. Now, content permissions should evolve with your business needs and AI capabilities. As I mentioned, things are going to get crazy with AI these next few years. Regular reviews and updates ensure your LLMs.txt file remains effective and aligned with your content strategy. And balancing content protection with search visibility requires careful consideration of which content to make available for AI training while protecting proprietary information. This is obvious, but keep it in mind. It's good AI SEO search hygiene. Overall, LLMs.txt represents a critical tool in the evolving landscape of AI search and content management. By implementing proper controls and following best practices, organizations can maintain control over their content while benefiting from AI search capabilities. So if you're an SEO guy, you need to get on AI search ASAP. Success with LLMs.txt requires ongoing attention to implementation, monitoring and optimization, and then of course, you should start implementing these practices today to ensure your content is properly protected and optimized for the AI search engines of tomorrow. All right, that's it for this video, and I hope I cleared things up for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Jason Patel of OpenForge AI, and I'm here to help you. I'll see you in the next video.